The family of Noor Sajjad has accepted the fate of the controversial entrepreneur. They said they would not persuade Sajjad to return to Malaysia. The 36-year-old fled Malaysia last year after a blasphemy charge was leveled against him for dressing as a woman. Tak, memang saya tak bujuk dia balik. Saya tahu risiko dia. Saya tak nak bujuk dia. Biar dia buat sendiri hal dia. Ah, redo. Apa pun saya redo. Apa yang jadi kat rumah dia ke orang buat apa pun saya redo. Itu je. Jalan terbaik. Kita tak ada nak buruk kawan ni, tak ada buruk orang ni, tak nak. Buat je lah apa yang kau rasa nak buat, buat lah. Ha, macam tu kan. Bila kau buat, Allah tu akan datangkan dia rezeki. Saya tengok rezeki dia sekarang lagi melimpah ruah. Ha, dia sana tengok rakyat Australia sana memang sokong dia betul. Tak kira ke China, ke India, ke semua ada stokis dia. Tak satu bangsa. China ada, India ada stokis dia. Orang Sabahan pun ada. Maju betul dia kat sana. Ha, saya betul-betul macam ha, bangga lah dia kat sana. Memang bangga. Ha, kami kerap berhubung. Tak ada. Rasa macam dia ada kat sini je. Sebab kita selalu hubung. Apa-apa pun ha, dia cerita dengan saya. Apa dia nak buat kat sana, semua dia beritahu. Minta restu, minta doa. Ha, macam tu lah. Sajak was detained and fined by Thai authorities for having an invalid passport. Following her release, Sajat moved to Sydney with the help of the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees. Sajat is starting afresh by opening a cosmetic business there. Sajat's parents said they are willing to move to Australia if Sajat has settled down there.